guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, Cross Watchers. Hello and welcome to those of you who are new to the channel. Please, no, this is not my normal setup. I had to evacuate as Hurricane Milton is headed straight to my house and he was not invited. So I had to pick up and leave. I am in a safe place. There is my travel companion, little Leo, grooming himself. I'll hide that for now since it's not so <laughs> user friendly. Um, yeah, so we're in a safe place. It is Wednesday as I'm recording this for you, but you'll receive it on Thursday the 10th. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be without power. Maybe not here where I am, but definitely when I get back home, if I even have a home to go to. So finger cro fingers crossed on that. Um, but even if I have a home to go to, I'm 100% sure there will be no power there for a while. Um, yeah, so everybody just, you know, prayers for the whole west coast of Florida from about Pinellas County on down. Um, Tampa Bay area, as they keep calling it, but you can't get to Tampa Bay without going through where I live. They forget about us. So just so you know. All right. Prayers for all of it because um, I have my intuition, you know, I'm thinking of doing a course on that. So come into the comments and tell me, yes, I want that because my, com my intuition was very muddy for like the whole past four days leading up to this whole thing. And I was like, I don't think this hurricane is coming here. And everybody's like, yeah, Laura, it's coming here. I'm like, okay. And then I got quiet with myself and I don't think it, I don't think it is. I think it's going to be a very near miss for where I live. And I have not been able, and that's maybe why I wasn't able to dial in on it. Um, you know when the, how that happens? It's like everybody's saying, girl, you got to get out. <laughs> and I was like, but I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling that it is. I mean, I'm watching it and I'm hearing everybody say it. And I'm usually the first one to say, I'm out, I'm packing, I'm gone. And this time something just... Um, my intuition wasn't picking up on the energy of this particular storm. Picked up on Helene, but I didn't leave because I knew what was happening. It was, right, this is Florida, and it went up, up the side. This one's coming straight. So I'm giving you this little lesson in intuition is that if you're experiencing something and the energies are kind of very muddy, like you're not picking up on a frequency, you're not picking up on an energy, there's a message there. Okay? You don't dive into suspicion. You don't go into the lower vibration. If it's muddy, there's a reason why it's muddy. There's a reason why you're not getting a clear bat signal. Okay? So we'll see if my intuition proves correct. We'll see. All right, here we go. Gateway of light. Perfect card, Libra. The I am presence, light body activation, accessing the divine within. I'm going to hold it back and then I'm going to bring it in. Light body activation, accessing the divine within. This is calling in your I am presence. Whew perfect card so you know because of this setup you cannot see the cards on the table um, I kind of like it that way but um, you know everybody yells when they can't see the cards on the table but today we'll have to just do right I've been here five and a half years you can trust me I'll hold up all the cards as I pull them so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the, the spread uh, I'll walk you through it, and then we'll use clarifiers uh, for the details. Uh, it is not a private reading. It's a general reading, so you have to take it as it resonates for you. It might not, so take what speaks to you. Leave the rest. I do offer private readings. Always, there's a link behind below every video that will take you to the booking page. Okay? I love that we're coming in here with the fool 
because it's talking about, you know, leap in the net will appear. Sometimes it might be a, a little bit of a, a risk assessment message. What's crossing us? Oh, it's a risk assessment message. It's a look before you leap, Libra. Now remember, these messages can come through reversed. What does that mean? I could be speaking directly to a cross watcher. Okay, so this whole reading could be for the cross watcher. Take it as it speaks to you. What's the root of the problem? Mm-hmm. Hello. So the root of the problem is we're questioning somebody's intentions. So we really have to look before we leap. Is somebody playing head games with you? Is there some manipulation afoot, right? Is somebody being very self-serving? Um, are we dealing with someone we think might be a little bit of a liar, cheater, stealer, player kind of energy? Is, you know, if it's, you know, walking like a duck and quacking like a duck, it could be a fucking duck. You heard it here. P.S. I have been in rare form for the past several days, so pardon my sailor mouth. Yeah, in the past, this was new. This was good. We felt good. We, you know, new beginning. Maybe there was a big offer. Almost seemed too good to be true. And now maybe that's what we're dealing with here. Ooh, in your conscious awareness of Four of Swords. Now, the Four of Swords can be a card of healing, but it can also be a card of going to ground and doing some deep reflection, right? Let me kind of think about this quiet quiet all the noise, kind of go into a very meditative Zen sort of state. And in the near future, <laughs> the four of wands. But of course, the beginnings of life partnership, the beginnings of something very joyful and celebratory, right? This is the 1111 card. It comes up a lot for twin flamey kind of reading. So what I want to say to you is if you have not yet watched it, I did the October 2024 Love Tarot Monthly Energy Update. Watch it, because what I do in those readings is I give you, well, I do an oracle reading and then I do the tarot spread. And then I also do the astrology for the month and I do it week by week by week. So you can see the whole week, the whole month, I'm sorry, laid out week by week for you, for your person and for um, the connection. And what showed up for October was a lot of up, down, up, down, up, down, week one, two, three, four. And then in week four, it all kind of comes together with a nice big bow. And this has sort of been the pattern almost for every reading. So lots of worry, lots of suspicion, lots of, I got to look before I leap because something here doesn't pass the smell test. And then by week four, rainbows and butterflies. Okay, so let me go through and see what we've got. I'm going to warn you in advance. That there's a, you know, in hotel rooms, you get that weird humidity in the air, even though it's cool, it's kind of wet cool. Yeah, this deck has swelled, and so the cards are sticky. So I'm not a bad shuffler. It's just going to be weird. The Fool and the Seven of Swords. It is a look before you leap because you're you're not sure what you're manifesting here. Are you manifesting someone who is going to show up for you, right? The beginnings of life partnership, king of pentacles, masculine archetype of a life partner, you know, showing up for you, having your back invested in that kind of a connection, right? Or are you really manifesting someone who's more self-interested? Who's going to get their needs met and then go out the back door? Like, what? what is it that you're getting in, into here? And with that five of cups on the bottom, from the bottom of the deck, that's where I pulled that from, just so you know, for those of you who are new, when I pull from the bottom of the deck, which I do throughout the reading, I'm tapping into either uh, something in unconscious awareness or something playing out behind the scenes. Either way, it's something you can't see. 
<clears throat> or that hasn't risen to the surface yet. We have the Five of Cups, and that's a card of regrets of the past, mistakes of the past, a sense of loss, grief, despair. So it's something that, to me, is sort of lingering from a past experience for you that you may be still healing from. Because I don't want to say that Four of Swords isn't healing, and now that I see that Five of Cups from the bottom of the deck, that may be why you've got this look before you leap. Because something may be like, oh, I've been here before. This, this is very unsettling. I've been here before, right? And maybe even within this same connection. So let's take a look at the devil, shall we? Yeah, at the root of the problem is you're probably dealing with somebody who may be impulsive and get and 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 gets and is in it for the minute as far as it serves their own purposes and then you're you're the queen of pentacles by the way right queen and here we go let me do this this is the goal but now here you are between the devil and the page of wands if this was the combo that makes sense for the seven of swords little player-ish, kind of on the surface, doesn't really get too invested, takes it all on the fly, sort of in it for the minute. Um, not really a terrible person, so please understand, the devil isn't always something very foreboding. Sometimes it's just, you know, a little manipulative, a little self-serving, and then you're left <sighs> disillusioned, disappointed, feeling rejected. So that's the root of the problem here. And why you're kind of like, oh yeah, been here before. And why you're looking before you leap. In the past, Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like this offer comes in, whatever this was that you've, you know, new beginning, maybe this was a new relationship or an offer from your King of Pentacles here. Yes, I certainly want a future, or it could have been an engagement or a moving in together or a commitment of some sort. And you come in, Queen of Swords is Libra, <clears throat> excuse me. And you come in really discerning, like I am gonna like, read the fine print on this okay and you think yeah it's good we're smooth sailing but underneath we have the seven of cups so on some level there's still some rumbling still something churning internally still some emotional upset or confusion or um some form of disturbance, something that's just unsettled. And now we have the Four of Swords. And this almost leads me to feel it's connected to the Five of Cups. Almost like there may be a pattern here. So you this, this bright, shiny object that you're given, this offer, whatever it may have been, was to placate whatever this was about. And, and you were kind of like discerning about it. You were sort of like, hmm, but whatever, yeah, okay. It ended up maybe being a little bit of a Band-Aid on a gaping wound. Because now, and you might have even, oh, and look what's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you might have even thought as much, Queen of Swords. So there's awareness there, because she's from the top of the deck. So you were clearly aware. All right, okay, we're going to go with that. And here you are, 
consciously now in this Four of Swords energy, still thinking about it, still processing it, still healing it. Still wondering if you should forgive it. Wow, right? Judgment, forgiveness, second chances. Reconciliation, not losing sleep over it now, worrying about it. Anxiety, what am I dealing with here? Can I trust this situation? Ugh. And underneath the nine of wands. At the core, you're exhausted from it all. Enough already. You know, in the Nine of Wands is a card of perseverance and it is a card of struggle. And sometimes we just hit the wall. But I'm not sure you're there yet. Because I feel with that Four of Swords, you're just kind of tamping things down. You're keeping the lid on everything because you're still in assessment. You know, the fool, you're not leaping yet. You're crossed by that seven of swords, so you're looking at it head on. You're not avoiding it. Four of wands in the near future. It jumped right out, guys. It jumped right out. Wow. So we have this seven of swords and landing on the, f it's like, um, <laughs> it kind of feels red wedding, but we have the sun. And underneath we have the death card. If you're gonna be happy, something has to change. If you're gonna be happy, this cannot stand. So I'm almost seeing the results of this tie you up in a pretzel, right? Kind of thought process about the resolution of the judgment, the judgment you literally make. So it is going to be worth the struggle. Um, but what you come out with is, I want a happy union. I want a happy life. You know, happy wife, happy life. Yeah, and, and this is not working for me. If I can't trust somebody, then there's, you know what I'm saying? Like that, that isn't going to fly. So I am seeing um, the continuation of your assessment process. The realization that something has to change. Um, the death card isn't always about an ending, but it, uh, it is about, it's Scorpio, so it's growth, change, and transformation. And in order for that to occur, if something has to change, right, the, the, the opposite of that would be if nothing changes, nothing changes. So something has to be left behind. Therefore, something has to end on some level. There's a pattern here that you're recognizing. And it, it's coming clear to me as a reader that it's unacceptable for you as the way to begin a life partnership. That's good, that you see it clearly as no. That's gonna have to change. So what I'm gonna do is take it to the extended and see how our King of Pentacles here um, sizes up the whole situation. And, you know, we'll get it from their perspective. At least that'll give you a little bit of an idea of what you're really dealing with. At least if they show up honestly, that'll be interesting to see. Um, sometimes they don't. Um, and we'll see how they see you, think about you, feel about you, what their intentions are. 
Um, the link to that is below. Option one is the monthly renewal for Libra. So that kind of renews every month. This option two is the extended just for this reading. Option three is the all access pass to everything I do. There are some extra readings, extendeds uh, that you get for that as well. So before I give you the astrology that showed up here in this reading, um, if you haven't yet done so, please subscribe. That's the only way I get to stay here and do what I do. And that is my my number one ask, right? Um, because if, if I can't get the uh, numbers up on this channel so that YouTube will put me in front of new viewers, then I'm going to have to do something really drastic. And um, I promise you, you won't like it. Okay, so let's just get the numbers up. And so if you're watching and you're still here and you haven't yet subscribed, it doesn't cost you a thing. Click the button. That's what I ask. All right, here we go. The Fool is um, the planet Uranus, which rules Aquarius. We have the Magician is Mercury, Virgo, and Gemini. Taurus in our King of Pentacles. The Devil is Capricorn. Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Queen of Swords, the lovely Libra. Uh, judgment is Pluto, which rules Scorpio. The sun is the sun, rules the sign of Leo. And we close out here with the death card, which is Scorpio. That's what I have for you. I am heading to the extended. I will see you there in a second. Bye for now.